Hello, my name is Matthew Pohl and I'm with the Rewild Group. The Rewild Group gets its name from an intriguing scientific process known as rewilding. The classic story of rewilding occurred in Yellowstone in the 1990s. At that point, Yellowstone's ecosystem was on the verge of collapse. The cause? An overabundance of elk. Free from any natural predator, elk had become overpopulated and were overgrazing the park. The vegetation in the park was almost gone, and animal species that had been abundant in years prior were noticeably absent. The scientists realized they had to do something, and so they turned to a process called rewilding. Rewilding is a process where an element is infused back into an ecosystem, and it has this ripple effect throughout that ecosystem. The scientists took one simple step. They reintroduced wolves back into Yellowstone. You see, wolves had been absent from Yellowstone for over 70 years. The introduction of the wolves back into Yellowstone had its desired effect. The elk herds started to be thinned. But more importantly, the wolves started to change the behavior of the elk. Instead of congregating in valleys and gorges, they now fled up into the higher elevations of the park for their safety. Almost immediately, this started to impact the entire ecosystem. Grasses started to come back, brushes and trees grew back as well. Now this is where it gets really interesting. The wolves not only impacted the wildlife and the vegetation, but it impacted how the rivers flowed through Yellowstone. You see the regrown grasses and bushes and trees, they, they firmed up the banks of the rivers so that they were more fixed in their course less erosion, less flooding. So the wolves, though small in number, not only impacted the wildlife in the ecosystem, they actually changed the physical geography of the park. We have drawn six powerful parallels from what occurred in Yellowstone as we devised and designed our methodology called organizational rewilding. Organizational rewilding identifies the key elements that are missing in a business like finding the gray wolves for Yellowstone. It not only identifies these key elements, it also infuses these elements into the business. And that human ecosystem, like Yellowstone, responds with these positive ripple effects that have transformative impact on the organization. The result is businesses that are exceptional. Exceptional businesses are ones that are both high functioning as well as highly profitable. Our research and development team is actively equipping independent advisors and instructors with these key elements so that they can impact businesses in their local market. We encourage you to take a few minutes to learn about organizational rewilding, a business growth methodology that is transforming businesses worldwide.